Hi, this is Scott Tomat. Welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at new pretty exciting tool in trade new called Portfolios. So here is the blog post when they announced this feature and it looks pretty interesting. So let's go directly in trade new and see how it actually works. So here is the main page of trading you to find portfolios, click on products and here you will see portfolios in beta. So click on it and this will be your main um, page for portfolios. So for this um, video, I already created a, a demo of a portfolio, so you can click on one of them, but you can also create a new one manually from your watch list or import a CSV file with your trades. So let's click on our portfolio and see what can you do. So here's our portfolio on top. Here you have main metrics of your portfolio. So here's portfolio value. Um, here you can see um, what is my cash remaining. Um, also, you can see unrealized gain here. Also, you can see total gain. You can see you know, unrealized yield and so on. If you scroll down, you'll see a couple of pretty interesting tabs. So first of all, you'll see the overview. So you can see the value of your portfolio. You can see um, how performance looks like uh, compared to your benchmark. So in my example, benchmark is S&P. And here you can see, you know, performance for the last one, three, six months. I have portfolio only for a couple of months. So this is why I don't have that field. And here you can find uh, pretty interesting things, for example, for portfolio distribution. So you can see that, okay, I have like 100% of my assets are stocks. Uh, but also here you can see, uh, you know, all individual symbols, uh, how many, much percent you get in, um, in your portfolio. You can see separation by sectors. So here you can see that I'm, uh, my portfolio is 53% technology. Also, you can see this across, um, you know, uh, currencies. It, it actually deals quite well with stocks from uh, with, with another currency. So here, just to experiment, I added a bit one euro, one uh, pound uh, stock, and it works quite fine. But as you can see, majority of uh, my currencies are USDs. Also, you can see here in the bottom uh, daily gainers from your portfolio and daily, daily losers. So volunteers really lost 10% um, last day. So, and you know, six, six, for the polars, polar, raised like 3% last year. Also, you can kind of have here a summary of your upcoming earnings, upcoming dividends. And also in the bottom here, you'll see all the news for your portfolio. So it's similar uh, feature as for watch list, but uh, here you can also track performance of your um, portfolios. Next step is uh, holdings. So here you can see what is your current holdings, what's your allocation. You can look at uh, the price of your current holdings. You can look at financials. For example, you can look at all P ratios of all your uh, stocks in one place. Um, you can look at the performance, how they performed every stock from your list. Also, you can look at risk. Uh, for example, here is the beta volatility of uh, your holdings. Also, you can see some you know technical indicators um, that will show you what's currently uh, tech rating, MR rating, and so on, some basic indicators and so on. So it's quite handy to have that all in one place for your current portfolio. Next step is uh, transactions. So here you will see all your transactions. So um, here I inputted this uh, manually um, from the list, um, but if you want to, for example, add another transaction, you can click on this transaction button. Here you can select that, yeah, for example, let's um, use like micro strategy, for example, we can select the date when we bought it, we can select the price for it, um, select um, a quantity, and then we can also use a commission on it. And also, if we want, we can also put a bit of comments of about what we actually, uh, what, 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 what we traded that and so on. So we have this in the kind of in the journal. So let's save it and you'll see that um, immediately it will add this to your holdings, uh, to your transactions, and it will recompute uh, your portfolio p &L based on this uh, additional uh, transaction. So it took some time, but now as you can see, you know, our analyzed yield change it. So now we have additional kind of transaction here. Uh, also, you can adjust your cash, cash positions and your equity basically. So here is in this example, I deposited like 1 million the 1st of May, but you can add additional 
um, like cash position. So when you, um, here you can see you have a deposit withdrawal. Um, so you can say, for example, okay, I want to add additional cash 1st of June, and this will be, for example, 100K. So let's um, add this. So here you can see uh, now we have two deposits. Also, we can add withdrawal and also we can add taxes and fees. So here you can also choose to uh, subtract a certain amount from your cash based on the taxes and fees you uh, experience. So for example, here, for example, 500K, 50K, for example, I don't know, 16 of uh, June. So you can save this and this will um, show you in your cash transactions. And of course, like everything in terms of transaction, you can import export both cash and trades. So it's quite handy to have it all here. For now, let's remove our um, Texas uh, transaction because our PNL looks quite bad because of it. So now let's uh, go to trades. Let's restart it. So here is um, the, the last tab is analysis. Uh, you can click on it and uh, you will get a bit of analysis month by month what PNL looks like compared to your benchmarks. Here, for example, our portfolio did 1% in PNL and SP only 0.4%. Also, you can look at how like performance looks like for um, the benchmark across your portfolio. You can look at your bet of your portfolio. You can look at the sharp ratio of your portfolio. So it's, I have only one month, so we have pretty huge sharp ratio here. We can look at Sortino. I don't have enough data. I think I just need a bit bigger, um, you know, uh, like a portfolio um, history to do that. Also, you can get here like some holding performance, a gainer, losers, and so on. Um, and that's basically it. So as you can see, you have pretty easy tool to uh, look at your portfolios. Uh, so, and it's quite easy to add the new one, for example. So here, for example, let's add new one manually. So here is you create your portfolio, you define some risk-free rate. Also, you can choose your benchmark and it can be basically whatever you want. Here you have a couple of suggestions. So for example, let's use QQQ and when you create it, here you have like a new portfolio and uh, you need to go and start to add some transactions. First, let's add a deposit. Let's do this, um, for example, 1st of Jan. Let's add a million for it. And, um, and then you can start to add transactions. So for now, we have no holdings, no transactions, but it's quite easy to add them as well. So to add the transaction, click Add Transaction. Let's do, for example, let's buy some Tesla shares somewhere in you know, March for like price of whatever, 150. Let's do 100 shares. Let's pay 10 on commission. And that's basically it. Um, it's updating my data. So just in a couple of seconds, I should have my portfolio calculated. So that's it. You can see that now we have already holdings. We have, um, and we can go and analyze how our performance, how performance of our portfolio looks like versus QQQ, for example. And um, already in terms of um, like how you can create your portfolios, you can uh, import CSV file. You just need to uh, predefine it a bit, and um, it, it, then it can be loaded. But what's great is that Renew is already working on um, connections to brokers, so you will be automatically possible to you to download your positions from brokers and display in Renew automatically. I think that's pretty good news. So I think that's pretty cool uh, feature. Check it out and let me know if you find this useful and how would you like to use it. Um, I will create um, in my community like a bit more detailed kind of videos on how to use portfolio in all the details, how to load uh, positions in CSV and so on. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you for watching. See you next one.